Hashtag Budget 2023 has been trending on Twitter since the Liberal government's 2023 budget was tabled earlier this week. In it, nearly $60 billion in new spending, $43 billion of which will be net new spending over the next six years. The budget outlines three main priorities, health and dental care, affordability and clean economy. But Conservative leader Pierre Polyev says the budget doesn't do enough to help Canadians with living costs and adds too much to the federal debt. Hamilton Centre MP Matthew Green joins us now after spending the past few days debating the Liberal government's proposed budget. Mr. Green, was there anything in the budget that surprised you? Well, it seems like the government is taking some heed about the climate emergency. There seems to be some significant investments in a transition and electrification of grids. And, uh, you know, one of the things that I was surprised about was uh, how little money there was actually for housing. So while there's been some big investments on the just transition, uh, I still feel that there is a long way to go when it relates to new money in 2023, uh, particularly around con the construction of housing. What elements of the budget will the NDP push to see carried out? Well, in our confidence supply agreement, we had some keystone projects. Obviously, the dental care uh, was a major component of what led us to uh, this confidence supply agreement. We used our power. Uh, this is something that Justin Trudeau and the Liberal government has voted against in previous sessions of government. We put it on the table and there is going to be a significant $13 billion investment in the expansion for the first time in a very long time of our public health care system to include dental care, which for so many people living in Hamilton, children, seniors, people living with disabilities, this is a very important Important step, and this is something that uh, that is only the result of the work in, in us fighting to use our power to get it done. And then there's some pretty important uh, labor issues, like for instance, uh, the anti-scab legislation, which has been something that New Democrats have fought for for a long time, which protects the rights for workers to collectively bargain, to withdraw their labor from capital and strike, whether they're locked out or whether they're in a strike position. We want to make sure that big greedy corporations aren't just using replacement workers to undermine collective agreements and drive down wages. Where could there be improvements? What key funding allocations were missing that the NDP think are important for Canadians? Well, certainly, you know, what's missing is investments in murdered and missing Indigenous women and girls. Uh, we only have to look to the stories that are continuing to develop across the country uh, on this tragedy, and not enough has been done there. Uh, there was the inclusion of a red dress alert, which my um, colleague Leah Gazan pushed for, uh, but we feel that there needs to be more money allocated to First Nations issues. Uh, housing in the north still remains a big issue in, in places like Nunavut in the north. Um, that's a big, big challenge. And of course, just housing, generally speaking, the fact that there is no new money in the budget for housing at a time when there's being investments made in all of these other files seems to be clear that this Liberal government um, continues to be missing in action on uh, you know, meeting the challenge and the crises that results in the most vulnerable among us being pushed to live on the streets and in tents, in our parks, and our playgrounds, in our alleyways. Uh, everybody deserves to have dignified housing, and it's only the federal level of government who has the budget and the scale and the scope to meet the crisis that we're facing right now. Thanks so much for joining us, MP Green. Thank you for having me.